Alright, so this is a quick little uh, command line tip for anyone who has uh, multiple Macs in their house. And uh, what I'm going to show you today is uh, how you can uh, quickly turn off uh, just about any Mac. Um, you know, if you have uh, more than one Mac on the network from the command line. And uh, let's get into it. So, first thing you want to do is uh, you want to enable uh, remote login or better known as SSH you want to enable that by uh, let's see I think I might actually already have it open if I go down nope to my system preferences where we go there we go so if you go down to system preferences open that up and then you want to go into the uh, sharing tab and uh, what you want to make sure you have is that you enable remote login and uh, what that basically allows you to do is that uh, other computers on the network uh, can just do remote login from the command line uh, there's some fire sharing and let's see what the actual description says it says um, basically it allows other computers to access your computer using an SSH client and it's useful for a lot of things because uh, you know it's Unix and command lines pretty powerful so basically make sure you have that thing turned on it's uh, once again it's in uh, show all so to enable that again you go into sharing you go to remote login make sure that's checked and then uh, you can close that out now to actually start doing this to turn off other machines on the command line you're going to have to type in some commands and I already set it up go into terminal here and what you want to do is uh, on your command line you want to type in ssh and then like your main username so which is simple jz and I think capitalization counts so if it's lowercase jz it's not going to take, it has to match. So I just go uppercase JZ and then you type in the IP address of the machine that you want to turn off. So you type that in and then, you know, that's that IP address on my local network. The very first time you do this, it's going to ask you for a prompt saying that it can't um, authenticate properly the public key. So it's going to ask you a question like, you know, do you always want to use this public key in the future? You type in the word yes. The full thing, yes. And then uh, it's, it's going to say permanently added. And then it's all good. And then it's going to ask you for the administrator password for that machine that you want to turn off. You type in the password for that machine and you should come into the command prompt. And as you can see, the, the laptop is named Mr. Spock. You type in this command, it's going to remotely connect you to the other machine. It's going to ask you for your password, and it, once you enter your credentials properly, you're going to get the command prompts, but it's going to switch now to Mac Intel, which is my Mac Mini over there. Okay? So now you're, whatever you type in on this keyboard here is like you're typing in in front of like the Mac Mini over there. So whatever you do here is actually affecting that machine over there. Okay? So you come back to the command line and if you want to shut down that machine remotely this is the command. You type in sudo space shut down space dash h space now. Okay? So sudo shut down dash h now press enter it's going to prompt you for your password now I've already entered the password for that machine over there because my passwords are pretty strong so all I have to do now is press the enter key on my MacBook so I'm going to hit enter and you're going to see these nice little Unix messages scrolling by and it's going to say system going down immediately system shutdown time has arrived and it's going to stop all the Unix um, services in the background and they're going to get all those messages 
and it's going to say that the connection to your host machine has been lost because it's shut down and then the command prompt is just going to go back to uh, your local machine in this case my laptop over here and uh, yeah that's it so that's basically the tip and uh, that's how you uh, turn off machines from the command prompts on uh, Mac OS 10. Alright, peace.